Good morning. Uh, August 4th here in Northern Virginia. Uh, yesterday we had a, a bunch of downpours. Uh, plants are kind of recovered, bouncing up a little bit. And I just wanted to run through my two primary Rex begonia beds. I have a bunch of new ones this year. Uh, the last year, if you watched the propagation video, that was uh, October. Okay, so just want to run through these. These we get close enough for you here i've had these for a number of years now this is a new one this one is having some trouble it really this isn't all that spectacular i mean it's a cool plant i mean if it was probably indoors and i really knew what i was doing indoors i know what i'm doing outdoors a lot better than indoors uh, so i probably won't redo this one this one uh is also brand new for me this year uh, and that's pretty cool right i'm just going to move my head up and down here so make sure you get a good view you know pretty big so you can see this is a little bit older leaf get some holes in it it's not a, a totally neat grower you know so i got to pull off some of these others yeah older leaves here and take care of them later this here is a ring of fire and without question the best outdoor grower rex and this always looks good when i have it so if you want to try a rex begonia in your bed first try get a ring of fire without question i mean look at how vigorous it is there's not a crack on any of the leaves until they get old you know and you just pull those off so ring of fire now pay real close attention to how this leaf looks Okay, hope you can see that. Okay, really cool patterning. I have another one down there that was supposed to have been a ring of fire that I bought in a different place. Is not a purebred like this, and it didn't do. It doesn't look bad, but it's not this. That's what I wanted. Was this? Okay. And I've also noticed that the color of these seems to come out better when it's in the shade. When the sun's hitting them, it kind of washes things out. This guy is a fair. You know, the leaves are get big you know and they're very thick you know this way so it's pretty sturdy it just doesn't you don't get you know this size at least i don't outside but they're pretty incredible i mean you know the leaves are completely different each one of them right here this guy's a toss-up you know he again we had a lot of rain last night um so some of the leaves had cracked just because they got poured on yesterday right so it's not entirely the plant's fault. <laughs> um, this guy, here's my Christmas one this year, you know, this hard to believe contrast with red and green. Uh, again, I couldn't care less if it bloomed. I, I get these things for these colorful leaves. Uh, very tight growth. See all the leaves are almost like running into each other. This, this is a huge leaf right there. He's faded, he's been there for a long time. So this one, I, I, pr I probably won't, you know, I don't know. I probably won't try this guy again. This guy will. This guy will. Um, now this guy, I had in a plant there last year. And it has, you can tell, the, the, the leaves are a little bit drier just as a matter, of course. So it has a little bit more trouble growing outside. I mean, the leaf can get huge. You know, look at the size of that thing. You know, but it took him a long time to get going. And let me just say, uh, I, you know, I plant these in, in April as soon as I can, because I take two weeks vacation in May, uh, and I got to get them going. I don't want to wait till I come back and the sprinkler heads take care of watering them, but it takes them like a month. Okay. When I come back vacation, they're still, it looks like they haven't grown at all. Okay. It takes them a while, <clears throat> excuse me, for me to get acclimated. You know forget these plants acclimated to being outdoors so this is not how it looks the minute i put it in so just keep that in mind okay this bed here i actually had two tuberous there and neither of them made it i think they may have been actually over watered uh because i had the sprinkler goes in the morning and again in the afternoon because it was it gets so hot sometimes here you know way up in the 90s uh, but the begonias seem to, you know, they're the ones that always say, oh, don't overwater them. And they tolerated it, and the tuberous didn't. They're both gone. That's why this empty space there. 
Okay, so here's some more of these guys. Um, these two guys. And here's another. This was not what it was advertised. This green should have been deeper. So it was, my guess is somebody tried to do a quick hybridization of the Jurassic series there and didn't quite make it. It doesn't look bad, but it doesn't have that deep green I had last year when it was planted there. This is another one I had last year in the planter. You know, a real red, you know, but it just is a tiny little plant. It doesn't get bigger. Okay, so hopefully you can you can see that. This guy is, this is the second time I, I tried growing this guy, and he's a very slow grower. I mean, the leaves are beautiful, uh, but again, so once you know that they're shorter, get them in the front of the bed, and you put the bigger ones, you know, in the back, and get too crowded there, right? Now, this guy, brand spanking new this year. Okay, I have never even heard of this one, and of course, you get sold on the picture at the seller. I swear this guy is hardly bigger than the day I put it in you know, four months ago, you know, it's so tiny, it's got new growth, you know, a little purple showing there, another one here, but this is it, you know, this is just so tiny, I'm going to dig him up in the fall and just and not even propagate, just try to do the plant, this guy absolutely is not an outdoor version of Rex <laughs> at all, just doesn't cut it outdoors, you know, advertisement is you can see look at the look at the stems this you know from the grower this was a much bigger plant uh and and these leaves are supposed to get huge like three times this size and it just doesn't cut it and there's two more of these standard tuberous begonias both of which did pretty well it's just like i said they don't they don't usually look this bad it just poured yesterday it just really hammered some of the plants so that's why they're they're looking a little beat up this morning and now let me remind you that, you know, this is supposed to be another ring of fire. Okay, so I bought it at a different place than that first one. Now look, you might, at first glance, you say, that looks like it, you know, it should, but no, it doesn't. So you look at this, okay, this lighter, very light green, and the ribbing, and I'll go back to that other one in a sec, so you can compare. So I'm not happy, I did not get a true uh, ring of fire when I bought this at this particular grower. So it looks okay okay it's not a disaster or anything um uh, but it watch compare that and i'll go back to this one see look at the vein structure on the leaves there it that's not the same thing right it just isn't so anyways this is the 2024 uh rex magonia setup and some of these will propagate some of these i won't because they just don't do it outside so I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you got questions or suggestions, please comment. I'd appreciate it. And have a nice day. Thanks for tuning in.